Hey, Nicole, well, you know, they just actually finished the tours aboard the Calamar Nickel just right over my right shoulder. They just finished that about six o'clock, but 13 News Now actually did get a chance to venture out onto that ship today. We talked to the captain. She explained that what makes this such a special part of Harbor Fest is you get to see the unique history of each ship here. On this deck, it is kind of a strange hybrid craft yeah. for sure. Every line and every command has history and purpose. And today, uh, miraculously, the wind is fair for the parade of sail, which means we can sail this. Eight miles of rope and line helping steer a ship originally built in the 1600s. The Kalmar Nickel, a 17th century Swedish warship that helped develop what is now modern day Wilmington, Delaware. They're beautiful and they're kind of romantic and, and whatnot, but um, they just all look like old boats, right? Um, but when you actually kind of get into the nitty gritty of this, you know, we're a design from the 1620s. Centuries after sinking, Captain Lauren Morgan steers the ship's replica now 25 years old at this year's Harbor Fest. Hard to throw together a parade of sail. The COVID-19 pandemic kept the Kalmar Nickel away from the docks at Town Point Park, which is why Captain Morgans is glad to be back once again. We've missed very few Harbor Fests. As I mentioned, the tours aboard the Kalmar Nickel just finished, but they will restart tomorrow starting at 12 noon and the historic tall ships here along the Elizabeth River will be here all weekend long for Harbor Fest. Live in Norfolk, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 years now.